From afar, it looks like a series of tall buildings and resembles a town of its own. French giant Roquette is building this $600 million facility just outside of Portage la Prairie. It will soon begin producing pea proteins for food and drinks, like meat alternatives, and components for animal feed. It's very exciting. <laughs> Céline Dunavilla heads up plant operations. She moved here not long ago from France, but knows this 20,000 square meter site forwards and backwards. We can't show you inside. The equipment behind these walls is proprietary, but we can say it's heavily automated. There's more than 60 kilometers of piping, all controlled in a room deep within the facility that resembles NASA's mission control. It's all in an effort, she says, to bring the processor closer to Canada's peace. Our uh, main uh, customer is uh, North Americas, and that's why it's very strategic for us for the logistic part. Um, and uh, we have a lot of peas here because, uh, you know, Canada is the first producer of uh, peas. Rocat is banking on Manitoba farmers growing more peas. The province grows around 50,000 hectares of peas per year. By comparison, Saskatchewan produces more than a million hectares. Most are destined for China and India for processing. Daryl Dimitrik is the executive director of Manitoba Pulse and Soybean Growers. He hopes Roquette's facility will mean those peas stay here. It's another outlet for growers to consider. It's another market, and it's a local market. Uh, and so it's a very welcome addition. Roquette isn't the only pea processor to open up shop in Manitoba, but it is among the latest international companies to look at Manitoba and specifically Portage La Prairie. Mayor Irvine Ferris believes companies are looking to the region because of its central location in Manitoba and proximity to different modes of transportation. Uh, it certainly raised our profile and um, of course after that um, we saw the uh, expansion of Simplot. They doubled the size of their plant and um, we've had lots of interest and continue to have interest in, in Porridge and in the region. More than 1,000 construction workers come here daily to work on the plant. Everything from millwrights to electricians to welders and more. Once complete, around 120 people are expected to work here. Dunavila hopes the plant and its employees become part of the community as well. We are here for the peas, for the farmer um, and transportation, yes. And the community as well. Roquette has begun to bring in small shipments of peas to test and calibrate its machines and hopes to ramp up production later this year. Riley Lechak, CBC News, Portage La Prairie.